Hello everyone, welcome to the channel AppyChip. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Python to connect to Elasticsearch database. As you all know, Elasticsearch is a searching database which is widely used uh, in today's world. So uh, let's start with it. I have written a blog post for the same. So first of all, uh, you need to satisfy the following prerequisites before going ahead with this demo. I assume that you already have Python 3 installed and uh, you are working on Ubuntu and you also have Java 1.8 installed. Now what you need to do is you need to create a project directory named Python Elasticsearch. You can name it uh, any, any, anything you want to and in that you need to create two files main.py and requirement.txt so let's go ahead and do this okay i've created this and these are available here so for now main.py and requirement.txt is blank let's go ahead the next thing you need to do is install elasticsearch to install uh, Elasticsearch module, uh, this is for this is the Python module you need to, you need to install. Uh, we also need Elasticsearch. We will uh, install in the next step, but here we are going to install Elasticsearch module for Python. So you need to write Elasticsearch in requirement.txt file. After uh, saving this Elasticsearch uh, in requirement.txt. You need to in, in, uh, run a command pip3 install minus r requirement.txt which will install all the requirements mentioned in this file. So suppose if there is any uh, any other module that needs to be some xyz module that needs to be installed. So running this command pip install minus r requirement.txt will install all the requirement listed here. So for now we only need this one. Since uh, I have already installed it, so it's saying requirement already satisfied. Let's go ahead. Next step is you need to install Elasticsearch for which you need to have Java. So I'm using Elasticsearch version 7 for which you need to have 1.8 version of Java. I have already installed it um, and uh, I have uh, performed all these steps so you can go ahead and uh, run these commands in your terminal and you can see you can start Elasticsearch with this command or, and you can also check the status of Elasticsearch with this command. So let's go ahead and check if it is running or not. It is running. Uh, also Elasticsearch run on the port 9200. So as you can see it's running and listening on localhost. Now your Elasticsearch is running, you can check Elasticsearch version and uh, other details of Elasticsearch by making an API call. So the version is 7.3.1 and the cluster name is by default Elasticsearch. And this is the node name. So as you can see uh, the Elasticsearch is running, let's check if there is any index which is uh, already present or not. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there are no indices present as of now. We are going to create one and insert some data uh, through the Python code. Now, what you need to do is, uh, I have some uh, uh, small code which you can copy paste. So let's uh, go ahead and copy paste this in main.py. The code is self-explanatory. So as we have installed Elasticsearch module, so we are importing it. Now I have created two methods. Uh, one method is to send data to Elasticsearch and one is to get data from Elasticsearch. And this is our main function from where the execution will begin. 
first of all I have to find a dictionary so dictionary is similar to JSON structure so first of all I have defined a dictionary in which I have some data in key value forms and uh, then I'm calling a function send data to Elasticsearch so first of all let's comment the next method get data from Elasticsearch as we are going to insert the data first and then we are going to run this uh, code again to get data from Elasticsearch so send data is passing the arguments data which is a dictionary to this function and here uh, with the help of Elasticsearch module we, uh, we are connecting to our running Elasticsearch which is running on localhost and which is running on 9200 port now we are saying that uh, create an index and the documentation type is devops uh, uh, doc type is devops and uh, the body that is your data this is the dictionary and then whatever response we get uh, we are printing it so let's go ahead and run this okay the output says the index employee is created and the type is devops i is this and uh, there are total two shards created and it's successful now let's go ahead and check uh, with the Elasticsearch api call if uh, is there any indices as you can see there is one created employee index now let's go ahead and check uh, if we can get the data so now i'm commenting out the insertion part and uh, we will call the method get data from es which is again making a connection to Elasticsearch, which is running on local host and it is searching the employee index with the body uh, basically it's a query um, uh, which, which should match the name key and the value john so let's go ahead and run this okay here is the data which we have got so as you can see uh, I am already you know uh, parsing the dictionary with the required keys and hence I am getting the complete data name John age 27 address Winterfell so this is how you can insert more data and uh, you can search for the data so guys I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please like and subscribe keep learning keep sharing thanks for watching